The Bucket and the Monkey Man, commonly abbreviated as BTM or BTMM, is a cryptid said to inhabit Singapore. Chiefly in the forested Bucket Duma region. The creature is often cited as a forest dwelling hominid or primate, and is also accounted for as being immortal. However, its exact identity remains unknown, and its existence disputed. Sightings of the BTM are rare, almost all in the Bukit Duma region and its vicinity. The first report of the creature came in 1805, before the colonial British discovery of Singapore, when a Malay elder claimed to have seen an upright walking, monkey-faced creature in the Bukit Duma area. Japanese soldiers also reported the creature during World War II. Richard Freeman, a cryptozoologist, has argued that an animal such as the Monkey Man could have easily inhabited Singapore in the pre-colonial days during World War II. Japanese soldiers stationed in Singapore glimpsed a strange version of Bigfoot there. Many reported seeing a primate-like creature covered in gray hair and standing up to 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches, tall in the Bukit Duma rainforest. Sightings peaked during the war, but there are also a few present-day sightings reported every now and then. The Bukit Duma area is now a biodiverse nature reserve that housed several creatures, including tigers, not too long ago. Although it is still a mystery as to what the soldiers and others were actually seeing in this area, some people believe they might have confused macaques for primates. However, according to most experts, this would be unlikely as the macaques in Singapore resemble the ones in Japan and the soldiers at least would know what they were looking at. The last sightings took place in 2007 when visitors told stories of seeing an ape creature being run over by a taxi and another scratching around in trash cans. Carl Schuker, a leading cryptozoologist, however has featured the BTM at length in his book Extraordinary Animals Revisited, 2007. All sightings have been centered upon the Bucket Duma region, which gives rise to the cryptid's name. A 48-year-old taxi driver, who lives around the neighborhood of Serangoon, was quoted as saying, when driving my taxi past the fire station on Upper Bucket Duma Road in the middle of the night I hit what I thought was a child that ran out in the middle of the road. It was on the car bonnet and then snarled at me, it was like a monkey but so big. It ran off injured covered in blood, and holding its arm which was broken. A 29-year-old housewife said. I was going to the bus stop early one morning to catch the bus 171. It was very foggy and cold. I thought I saw a tramp going through the rubbish bin, however when I approached, it called out with a loud animal sound and ran back into the forest. It was gray, hairy and ran on two legs, but had a monkey's face. I was shivering with fear and called the police but to no avail. A 65-year-old retiree from the neighborhood of Bucket Pond Jang recalled the creature from his childhood, saying, we were always told as children when in the kampung not to go near the forest at night due to the monkey man. Of course we never saw it ourselves but it was always some uncle or friend of the family who had seen it. Once we were shown these footprints near the forest road, and I remember the strong urine smell. Whenever we heard shrieks coming from the jungle we would tell each other don't disturb the monkey man. Some Indian worshippers of Lord Anjana used to mention this creature as the living immortal Lord Anjana and it's been widely explained almost in every Indian text representing Anjana as a mortal being.